All right, <clears throat> hello and welcome to 2096, another entirely awesome streaming episode, uh, gaming of, yeah, a big clusterfuck. We're going to see what we're going to do this week. We're probably going to do a, another one shot, or this is a one shot, we'll see if somebody survives. <clears throat> um, we're joined, we have two players with us today, we have both uh, Patrick and Ryan. Patrick, why don't you tell us who uh, you're playing today? actually have his gear this week we'll go over what happened last week and uh 
even though it was a one shot. Yeah, you know, he's, he might have pants. Uh, Ryan, who are you going to play today? I'm going to play as Baldrick, the former uh, drug dealer who's delivering drugs with a, with a goddamn pistol and, and, and fire. Okay, that sounds good. And there's stims in this world. We don't have drugs. We have stims. <clears throat> drugs fell apart when, you know, the uh, large corporations disbanded. <clears throat> Yeah. Anyways, all right. Uh, let's see. So let's give it. Let's give. Let's give a little recap of last week. Um, would Would we like to go, Patrick? Why don't you tell us your version of what happened last week, and then uh, we'll we'll have Ryan give a shot, and then I'll tell you the lowdown, and then uh, we'll start the game. I need to buy myself a couple minutes while I continue to add things for this one shot. So uh, yeah, Patrick, go ahead. I got a picture I'm going to add in there at some point, but go ahead, continue. Yeah, it had four arms, four legs, it's just massive, and all the other captives, they were all trying to fight together. Yeah, after uh, Kevin tried to climb into a weapons container to hide, and it doesn't go so well, he decides to join the fight, and they, they did all right, I guess. Yeah, that's one way to describe it. Hold on, let me switch this. <clears throat> All right, Ryan, why don't you give us a lowdown of last week's game and what your character saw. Then after uh, saw a man named Kevin leave, come back screaming, "Where the hell are my pants?" Oh yeah, I forget about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then after uh, yeah, we we went in there, fought a big, uh, a weird thing, woman. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what you can't call that thing she, anymore. She was the queen. She had eight legs. Well, she had eight limbs. Not yeah. not including her four that the human body had. Still, that thing is horrifying. Big guy got messed up. We rolled some couple of ones. My leg got split open. I be. And everyone pretty yeah, much died. Yeah, I think I did more damage to you than the queen did. Yeah, she, she just split it open. I started bleeding out. Uh, so yeah, that, that's pretty much what I remember. Ah, uh, yes. That pretty much sums it up. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, you guys, it was kind of a Thunderdome one shot because uh, we're down a couple players and all that fun stuff. But anyways, uh, you guys, everyone died. Everyone died. Uh, that was bound to happen uh, considering that, you know, you were completely naked and, well, you came into the game unarmed. Uh, yeah, Patrick, uh, Kevin uh, fought a young teenager uh, and won. You didn't want to fight her at first, but then you realized she was going to fuck your shit up. Um, and actually, that was the same teenager that uh, turned into the queen. That uh, well, Ryan, you fought, if you recall. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah, she effed you up in the beginning, and then uh, Patrick, you kind of killed her, and then she came back and uh, came back, and 
Like, you guys were definitely like pigs to the slaughter. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, it was good entertainment. It, it was something. Uh, basically, yeah, we don't need to get into how you both died, but she had eight limbs, as I said before, and uh, she was great. And I have a picture, but, you know, since it's a concept, I'm not going to put it up there yet. I'm going to work on it and give you a better version, a better variant, I feel like. Um, let's see. So this week, <clears throat> what are we going to do this week? Well, I have a huge campaign slash story in mind, but um, it should be played with, I feel like, four, at least four players, you know what I mean? So if anyone is watching or is interested in learning about 2096, send me a DM, a text, a message, I don't know, an email, whatever you have to get a hold of me. Uh, if you find it interesting and like sci-fi, sci-fi set in a post-apocalyptic world uh, in the not-so-distant future with sandworms and radiation and cyborgs and all that fun stuff. Uh, and this is going to be kind of flying by the seat of my pants, <clears throat> since we're not using the original story. But I think we're all going to have a good time, and we're going to be fine. Yippee! So, we're going to start. You guys, both Kevin and Boldrick, are in the city of Namora. Which, if uh, Kevin, Patrick, you don't remember, Nomura yeah, yeah. is uh, the starting city where you started playing this game a couple years ago with none other than uh, Rubix and Lyra. Lyra? What was her name? Do you remember? I think it was Lyra. I think it was Lyra. You're right. All right. <clears throat> the two of you find yourself in a levitation sedan with none other than Mortis himself. Oh, shit. You guys are falling rapidly towards the ground in this love vehicle, shit. which is currently unresponsive. Rubix yells, Kevin, you are definitely not Mortis. I told you two to make sure the level is working correctly, damn it! In my bed. <laughs> I don't know what happened. They just they just lost control. Where are you sitting? Everyone. Uh, in the back, probably. Kevin. Yeah, I'm pro probably like in the back or in the passenger seat. Definitely not trying to drive. <clears throat> All right. Um, yeah, Rubix is in the driver's well, the driver's seat. Once again, it is a love vehicle, so there are. You know, it's, it's shifting, it's an automated love vehicle, and there's also a shifting steering wheel, so it can be driven on the left or right. So we'll say you're up front, and then, yeah, Boldrick, that's perfect, you're in back. Uh, I need you both to roll luck. Oh, God. As I switch it over so people can actually watch you. This might be voice chat or voice only, but at least you guys can roll... Watch Roll20 and watch their shitty rolls. It's going to be great. That's See? a little shitty. And three is good. Three is good. Three is good. That's great. Oh, no. We both got threes. Oh, no. All right. Yeah, I, fuck. I need bravery from both of you. Well, shit. Off to a great start, as I can see. Now, come on now. <clears throat> All right. Wait. For you, those of you that don't know, the game operates on a difficulty level, like most other RPGs. Uh, there are five levels of difficulty, ranging from low to virtually impossible. The minimum roll needed varies depending on the difficulty level. In this case, this was a moderate difficulty, so my players would have had to get over an 18. Shit. Which neither of them did. So you both panic. As you continue to drop, watching the building that you're next to, the levels pass by quicker and quicker. Rubix yells again, I gotta do everything my fucking self. He hits a couple of controls, but they're still unresponsive. Would you guys like to make uh, an intelligence roll? 
with a negative four to your roll. Wait. Uh, both of us? Both of you. Even though you're sitting in back. Wait. Yeah, I am sitting in the back, so... You could still maybe point something out. You know, in between your panic... Yeah. ...and the potential of you dying already. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. My intelligence I... is a nine, normally. All right, there is nowhere for you to go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so what? Rubik's continues to scream profanities and works on the controls. At the last moment, as you see the ground quickly approaching, the lev ignites. The levitation pads pulse to life as there's a crackling sound. He like, looks at you guys as he pulls back the steering wheel. You better hold on! And the lev starts to level out. However, because you guys were panicking and screaming like little girls, and uh, unable to help him, the lev hits the ground harder than it should. Oi. We're going to call this the game of rolling. Let's do another luck check. Fine. Do another luck. This is going to be a moderate. Boy. I need over an 18 from both of you. I don't oh, know no. Happen. Oh, this that's is not going to happen. Definitely not going to happen with me. Uh, let's go. Oh. Oh, blend. oh, I didn't get it over 18. I know, but you got a natural 12. And um, so that, that negates Kevin's one. So you do not crash and burn. However, you do hit the ground very hard. Uh, you each suffer. This is not going to your armor now. Uh, also, uh, so how this, this game works is that you usually have armor. There are six areas of the body. Your left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, torso, and head. Each one can be pretty much enhanced to protect your core health, which is 60. However, since this impact is a uh, direct hit, you each take, uh, what is that? 18 points of health. We did that go through our armor or no? For, oh yeah, that goes to your health. That has nothing to do with your armor because it was a jarring hit. That Yikes. knocks the wind from both of you. We. Oof. As the left. Ooh bounced off the ground and sent sparks it heads towards uh let me see i gotta find a map of nomura for you guys so you understand i don't know if i do have a map <clears throat> anyways how nomura is set up is the area that you are currently in or were currently in was corporately controlled which is basically three large buildings uh surrounded by fortified um walls and areas and around nomura are pretty much hundreds of kilometers of slums. <clears throat> so as you hit the ground, you bounced up. You went over the large walls that protect the area and are coming down as Rubix is continuously yelling and looking over at you guys. He finally just puts his hands up <laughs> and starts to scream as he's on a roller coaster as the left comes <laughs> down. And hits through another building into the slums. Oh. Uh, I need an endurance from both of you. Oh, we're, we're done. We're done. Hey, this boys is... for impact! <laughs> Here it comes! Oh, no! <clears throat> oh, Lord have mercy, please. Well, that was close. Alright, there's a bone jarring crunch as you see the lev smash into this slump this building in front of you uh ryan you uh are knocked the f out everything I... goes black kevin you barely are able to stay conscious as you see the lev go through this building and continue to hit thing after thing as it starts to flip and turn over it tumbles and finally after what seems like minutes it comes to rest and stops upside down. Oh, fuck. Fucking goddamn seatbelt. Nice fucking flying there, bug nuts. Rubix, who is actually still conscious, looks over at you. 
Yeah, you're definitely not this fucking guy. Definitely not Mortis. He unstraps his seatbelt and falls to the ground. What do you do? I'm gonna, like, try to keep myself from falling too hard and, and go ahead and undo my seatbelt. Uh, give me a speed check. Which would be agility, but I like speed better than that. So. 12 or up. Alright, you're able to unclip your seatbelt, drop down uh, without much damage at all. You look back and you notice uh, Baldrick is unconscious, passed out, his arms dangling, <laughs> touching the ceiling. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Get him down, crawl, crawl over there and start. <clears throat> Give me a strength check. Ooh, I don't think I'm good at that. Oh, no, you're not. Come on, Mr. Two, I believe uh, in you. Anyone who's <laughs> listening, uh, these two are very, well, they're very, um... How would you guys describe yourselves? Small? Weak. Weak? Frail? Yeah. Thin? Yeah, Kevin's, wispy. Kevin's pretty small, dude. All right, I think both of you, what, what are your strengths together? Uh, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I have three strengths. <laughs> Kevin has two. And I think, what are your heights? About five five. I'm at five four. Yep. For, for you European the, listeners out there, sixty four centimeters or inches. Wait, sixty four. What's what's S that in 64 centimeters? Sixty four inches. Wait. So what's that in centimeters? We need five five. I, 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 that's on, no. no I, you're close. I think it's one hundred and sixty centimeters. Is that right? <clears throat> yeah, hundred. Yeah, sixty three or something like that. I mean, I'm close, and I'm, I'm also American. I'm, I'm going to be close. I do know centimeters, but not off the top of my head like this. I think it's 160 centimeters. So, yeah, you both are 160 centimeters, and you're how, what's your weight? 140. I am 89 kilograms. So you're both about, yeah, like 89 kilograms, <clears throat> 160 centimeters uh, in height. So you're, you're two wispy uh, little things. That's nice. That's yeah. just more fun. All right, you're unable to break him free. Rubix looks at you and is like, Are you fucking kidding me? Look at these goddamn twig arms of mine. I've been homeless for a long time, my guy. He's like, Get the backpack out of the back. And he goes over to unstrap Ryan. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to grab the backpack and make sure I have my 12 gauge still strapped to me. Um, yes. Give me, give me a roll. No, oh no! Oh no! You did crash and burn. All right, you still have everything. Yeah, you grab the backpack uh, and you hop out of the vehicle. Uh, give me a perception check now. We're just gonna roll, yeah. fucking. That's what this whole game's gonna be. It's gonna be rolling because it buys time while I think of what's gonna happen. Oi! All these back to back tins, man. All right, you get out of the vehicle. You are able to get out of the vehicle. Um, basically, when you do, you're in somebody's living room. Or what was a living room, if you could call it that. Uh, because it's been destroyed by your left vehicle that destroyed you. As you look to your left, you just see this long line of, well, broken buildings. From your vehicle smashing through these you know shittily built slums um and you're starting to see people who are looking who are getting up and looking around who do not seem well very happy that their houses were just destroyed is, is, it, is there anybody inside the room with us um give me a perception check Nope, you don't see anyone. Uh, oh, fuck it. Like I said, hey, I mean, uh, you broke through the wall. Things are everywhere and scattered. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, Rubric, I think we should make our exodus pretty quickly here. We got some angry people uh, pinpointing our location and probably about to head this way. He looks at you as he pulls uh, Boldrick out of the vehicle and looks around. He's like, God fucking damn it what happened to my guys and he stabs a stim 
into Baldrick. Baldrick, you wake up, gasping for air. Oh, what happened? You just got hit with a stim. You are um, currently healed six points, and you're awake. As you look around, uh, you see a smoldering lev vehicle upside down and a ruined shack or slum. I, I get up and I'm like, what the hell happened? Oh. We took a fucking digger. That's what Rubix yelled. Just as he says that, a piece of metal goes flying by his head. As you see one of the locals, the very unhappy locals, uh, headed towards you. He's like, I wouldn't do that if I were you, and he holds up his rifle. What do you guys do? Uh, I'm do gonna... I... Do Go I still have my dummy? Uh, give me a luck check. Ay, 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 ay. Plus, oh yes, it's a four. Ay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it appears to have fallen off in the vehicle. Can I go in the vehicle and try and get it back? All right, you head into the vehicle and <laughs> look for your knife. Kevin, you see Boldrick go back into the vehicle, which is starting to smoke. Yeah, I'm going to help him find whatever he's looking for. All right. You hear Rubik sigh and say, oh, my fucking God, get the fuck out of here. And he, he fires a couple of warning shots. You assholes better get out of there, he says, as you hear him start to thump off. All right. Hold on. We're getting my, I'm getting trying to get my shit. Uh, give me a speed check. Both of you. Oh, boy. Well, speed is the one thing I'm good at. I'm not That's so smart. Good. Plus, uh, what is my speed? Hold on, let me see. It's a six. Hey. Oh. All right. <clears throat> right. Uh, as you see the knife, Baldrick, uh, right before you're able to grab it, Kevin does before uh, seeing it just a moment before, and he hands it to you. Thanks, As man. You yeah. start to hear a crackling sound. I believe you we need get to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we gotta run. All right, you guys take off, and uh, let's see. Give me another roll. We're just like I said. We're gonna just roll every single one of your attributes and see what happens. Because I want some ones. Definitely want some ones. Before this, we had a one. It was not good. All right, Hopefully so you got just your ones out of the way. What's that, Nate? Yeah. Hey, let's go. All right, well, you have no problem running out of the slums, making your way through the debris. Uh, Kevin, you kind of, like, well, you stumble a little bit, uh, but are able to make it out as all of a sudden the lev vehicle that you were in ignites. The lev pads, you see the lightning arc off the pads and electrify the surrounding structure which is mostly metal there's pretty much no wood um so i'm not going to need both of you to have endurance please an endurance check oh lord have mercy got this, got this. i hope we do or else this is gonna end be the end of us real quick oh fuck <laughs> oh no did i roll oh yeah oh no um, hmm. I'm gonna need a luck check from you, Ryan. Kevin, oh, Ryan. no, uh, this is... Hold old. on. I oh, man, I thought, I thought I rolled that one. That yeah. Was, that was Baldrick. <clears throat> Baldrick, indeed. Uh, yeah, give me a luck uh, check. Sure. All right, come on, go. Have mercy. Oi! All right. You take 11 more points of damage. Damn it. Unfortunately for you, as you're headed out of the broken down slum, uh, the the lev pads arc, sending an electrical current through the surrounding structure. You grab a hold of part of the structure to stabilize yourself as you're running out, and you get hit. 
with some arc mm -hmm. damage. Uh, fortunately for you, Kevin, you get out of the building unscathed. You look back as Baldrick comes kind of falling through the door and almost landing at your feet. I'm going to pull the pin on uh, the flash grenade I have ready and toss it into the room and try to pull Baldrick out. Okay. Don't touch the walls. Give me an attack roll. <clears throat> And drop it at my feet. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> you chuck it. It does not enter the room as hoped for at all. Uh, you grab him, you turn, and pretty much it goes off like right behind you. It hit the wall. Uh, it goes off. Give me an endurance check. Both of us? No, just just Kevin. We'll say you're already okay. stunned and dazed. So what's the point of having you more dazed? Yeah. Oy, All lucky. Right. It goes off uh, as a flash bang does. Uh, loud noise. You feel a concussion wave kind of pass over you, but you're able to keep everything up. The flash, the bang kind of got you, the flash, not so much. Uh, as your grenade didn't go where it was intended at all. Uh, up ahead, you hear, you, you see Rubix, who's looking back at you guys. He's like, You Fucking guys! Why? You definitely not Mortis. And you see him. This is like, Mortis. You better hurry the fuck up. He turns around and starts running down the street. Street. Yeah, I'm gonna follow behind, trying to pull uh, Baldrick with me. Baldrick, give me an endurance. Come on, come on, Baldrick! I believe in you. I believe. Do you believe, Patrick? <clears throat> All right. With, with Baldrick, seven, I do. You're able to be pulled to your feet by Kevin, uh, and you are now on your own, free. Um, Kevin, you don't need to pull him. Uh, oh, let's get the fuck out of here! See Rubik's yelling, running down the street. Go on, All right, let's follow behind. Let's run like hell, I guess. All right. <clears throat> you guys continue down the street. <clears throat> Excuse me. Continue down the street, following behind Rubik's as he runs. The locals are coming out on either side to see what's going on. When from behind you, you hear the crackling of love pads. I glance over my shoulder. Similar quick, here. Quick glance back, you know. Uh, perception for both of you, let's see. Good thing my perception is very good. <clears throat> Never mind. You... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that, I was going to say that's... Uh, it's a somewhat difficult, so you both got over 12. 12 or up, I would say. <clears throat> you recognize it to be a hunter-killer corporate drone. Uh, it's got oh, a blue shit. blue left pad. You know, all you can really see is a blue glow as it kind of gets closer. Uh, and it speeds up. The backside kind of illuminates the front, so you see this black outline of a corporate drone coming at you. That's uh, our what are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna yell a rubrics. Uh on! She got the feds on us. Run. As you yell, you see him turn around and look. In which case you hear a oh fuck. He jumps out of sight off to a side alley. Uh very quickly, as you guys are stuck there. As the drone approaches initiative. Oh shit. Oh, hell no. Nah. Things is about to hit the fan. Oh, yeah, me. <laughs> I'm oh, hitting no. the fan. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, no. I'm happy this is another one shot because I don't know if you guys. All right. Um, hold on. All right. Uh, what are you guys doing? Let me. Are you 
taking cover? Are you firing? Tell me exactly what your plan is. Sure. Um, I'm going to try and immediately take cover. See him over here. Okay. You guys look around uh, and head for cover. Unfortunately, uh, who got the lowest? Well, Kevin, you did. Give me a luck check. A luck ain't so good, guys. Come on, Kevin. Oi, 12. All right. <clears throat> Baldrick, you jump behind the closest cover you can as you see Kevin also do the same. Unfortunately, he's not quick enough. Oh, no. Kevin, before you're able to fully make it into cover, you feel a hot sens sensation on your backside as something tears into you. Uh, you've got armor on your torso, do you? Yeah, level 2 armor. Okay, good. It's a fusion blade. It will cut right through that, and you take 13 health. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Yeah as this burning sensation intensifies you suddenly feel yourself going airborne and then falling as the blade it hits you with <laughs> releases you hit the ground uh give me an endurance i have Okay, no, not terrible, not terrible. No, you hit the not ground bad. with a resounding thud. Fortunately, your level 2 armor uh, absorbs most of the damage. Uh, you take two points of health. Weak. Mari, nice. looking, looking a little rough, guys. As you're laying on your back, you see the Lev, the corporate drone, turn and come back toward you guys. Um, let's do initiative again. Let's go! Come on, let's give him hell! Wee! I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it too, pretty good. Uh, yeah, Ryan. Uh, <clears throat> Boldrick is going first. You take cover, you see this happen. You see, uh, Kevin laying on the ground on his back as the corporate drone turns and comes back towards you guys. Towards Kevin, specifically. What are you doing? Uh, I'd like to launch up and grab Kevin and put him into my cover. Uh, Alright, I would say he's probably... Uh, he's probably across from where you went to get cover. Uh, so give me a speed check. Come on, Ryan. Speedy Gonzalez is your middle name, I guess. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, that was scary. That was very scary. I mean, yeah, that was for you guys. <clears throat> All right, you run over, you grab him, uh, and you start to pull him into cover. Kevin, what are you doing? As Boldrick grabs you and starts to pull you towards cover. You see the corporate drone headed back your way. I'm going to throw a flashbang at it. I got one more flashbang. I'm going to try that again. <laughs> Attack. Fuck! Give me a oh, no. Oh, no. There's the last one. Yeah, give me a luck check, please. Oh, thank God I want another one, though. Yeah, that would have been really bad. All right, you chuck it at the corporate drone, which is moving towards you. It breaks suddenly and it raises so you can see its love pads your flashbang comes up hits its undercarriage which is basically its thrust and you see the the flashbang come straight for you as uh boldrick is pulling you away it literally goes off right in front of your face uh give me an endurance check both of you oh lord have mercy Alright. I'm gonna end up uh, killing Baldrick again, aren't I? <laughs> Baldrick is about to go bye bye. Come on. Oh. 
I accidentally put it a T in there instead of an R. Meh. Plus six. Oh, wait, what? So you got I a one? I believe I missed. No, I, mean, I'll I, I missed. I'll take that as a roll. <laughs> no, no, wait, hold on. There we go. This is my actual. There we All go. Right. That's ten. still amazing. <clears throat> All right. You see the flashbang that you threw so nicely, Kevin, come back and get shot back in your face. You're just able to cover your eyes as it goes off. Uh, Baldrick, there's a big bang behind you, which causes you to lose your grip on Kevin and topple forward. Ah! You fall and hit the ground, taking six points of health. Baldrick's not gonna make it. His flashbangs are defective! Fortunately, <laughs> your back was turned. Uh, let's do initiative. Where do you get those flashbang ads? Best Buy? Oh, that teeter. That was almost bad. Help him in the dumpster! <laughs> Throw him in the dumpster. Come on, now. Huh? That's weird. I thought I, I thought it's rotated. There we go. All right, look at that. Two sixes. That's good. All right. As you guys are recovering from the flash and the bang, uh, your ears are somewhat ringing, obviously, and your eyesight is coming back. Uh, like I said, Kevin, you were kind of were able to protect, shield your eyes. Uh, Ryan, you kind of fell and you were pointed away, so you're not that bad. You guys hear some weapons fire. Uh, you hear a dink, and you see a spark, uh, Kevin, as a round ricochets off the drone in front of you. Uh, gentlemen, who goes first? Yeah, I mean, you guys go together, but you can choose. We could, we could go together, you know, shoot it at the same time. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on shooting it, too, so I just say we pop unload into it. All right, give me a time. Yeah, we both are. I'm, I'm going to unload with my MP5. All right, uh, I need, let's do uh, Ryan first. Uh, Baldrick, give me an attack roll, please. Yes, sir. -y. Oh, 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 All right, all right, give me damage. All right, let's do this. So 2d12. Times how many rounds per turn, so I got the calculator here. Let's go, <clears throat> Oh, hey, that's not good. What's the round per rounds per turn on that? Twenty. Yeah, twenty. So you just did two hundred points of damage to it. Okay. Let's go. Divided by two. Divided by two. All right. So you did fifty points. That's not bad. So you basically pull out your MP5, right? You're slightly disoriented, but you recover quickly. You turn. You pull out your MP5 and you fire. 20 rounds goes its way, and you see sparks as it ricochets off its armor. Damn Kevin, it. you're up. Well, fuck. Wait, what are you using? Oh, no. Sagan? What are you, uh, what's your weapon? Shotgun? Uh, yeah, I got a 12 gauge with a reflex sight. Okay. Uh, yeah, that shot would miss. Do you got one more? Or two more? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. Come on, come on. Uh, you do, yeah, that misses too. All right. It's going to come after you. That's definitely Ooh. not good. It basically not only has a cannon, but it's kind of got, well, think of Mantis Blades in Cyberpunk. It's pretty much got two of those dangling from underneath it. It swipes at you, it misses uh, as, you know, the rounds are coming at it. As Boldrick fires, it misses, uh, or it hits it, it loses its, its balance, and it misses you. However, the other hit comes down, and it hits you. Oh, that's really not good. Hold on. Uh, where is my... Oh, yo, 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 yo. Give me one second. Where's my hit chart? Mm-hmm. Ten rounds left in my mag. All right. It cuts into your torso. 
<clears throat> Four. Oh. Twelve points. Once again, the blade cuts right through your armor, and you take twelve okay. points of health. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kevin's looking pretty, pretty hurt. <laughs> Say, that's, He's looking uh, mighty. Let's see. That is also a, <laughs> a heavy wound, so you're going to be losing six per round. Hopefully, you got a stim or two there, buddy. I got three advanced med kits. Initiative! Wait, it looks like I'm going to need them. God damn it! Come on, come on, Big Daddy, come on! Oi! All right, it goes after you again. Oh, and it hits you. Oh my God. Who did it hit? Uh, it's still going for Kevin. Ooh, it yeah. is Oof. slashing at you. Another slash uh, misses. However, the second slash hits you. Again. I just don't want it to hit you in the head because it's a short game. But, it might, let's see. Where's it going to hit you? Um, hmm. Well, fortunately for you, it digs in your left arm for five points of health. Cuts through your armor, you, so you take five health. And discount armor! <laughs> the best buy armor is failing. There is more gunfire. Cut off a dick guy. Eleven, twenty-five points. You see more. Uh, another round of sparks go as uh, Rubix fires from down the alleyway towards him. At least he hasn't abandoned you guys. You hear him yelling, "What the fuck are you guys doing? Take that fucking thing out!" We're trying to, goddamn it. Um. Baldrick, you're up. All right, so I have my MP5 left, still with uh, 10 rounds left. Uh, I'm going to unload, uh, is it like uh, above us? It is, it's like above you. Well, to, yeah, it's right in front above you. It's uh, trying to slice uh, Kevin, who is still on the ground. Uh, by the way, uh, do, refl do reflex sights uh, count as a plus one or no? I believe there's a plus one HP, yes. Hit probably. Oh. All right, then I'm at it because I forgot two on my last one. Ooh, okay. Right. Well, when you're doing, uh, you're just firing auto still, right? Yes, okay. I am. Uh, yep. So give me damage. Come on now, come on. Oof, that's not very nice. And you had ten rounds, you said. Yes, sir. So six times ten is sixty points. Now that gets divided by two, because you lose half the rounds on auto, and then it yeah. gets divided by the armor level. So you did a fifteen points of damage to it. Eh, something at least. More than I've done. Your shell casing casings hit the ground as your last round is fired and bounces off. You see its armor now impacted or dented from your shots. Uh, Kevin, it's your turn. Uh, Kevin's going to use his first bit of movement there to uh, hit himself with an advanced med kit. Okay. Good idea. Yeah, because I'm, I'm sitting at 10 health. Yeah, and you're bleeding, right? Y yeah. So, yeah, so I'm going to do that, so... and then I'll attack with a second. Okay, so you're, yeah, you lost six, you hit with an advanced, which actually, if you really want to get into details, hold on one second, let's see. Oh no, he's got something planned for you. I don't have anything planned, I'm just using the, this chart that, charts that somebody made. Okay. Uh, what does it say for advanced medkit? How much does it repair per It says time? single use, full health. But I, somewhere in here, I think I have, like, what it... All right, it's fine. All right, so you're full. So you lost six, you healed, you're at full. What's your second turn? I'll give it to you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fire at him with my 12-gauge again. All right, give me your attack. Don't make this one. I 
attacks attack. That hits. Okay, thank God. Thank Your damage. God. Come on, give him hell. I hit the roll button. I'm lagging. Oh Here my God. goodness. Oh, you, you messed him up. It's gone. It's gone. So here's how damage works, right? Since you don't have anything special, you're firing a shotgun at something that's armored. You take that 54 points of damage and you divide it by its armor level, which is two. Which means it took. Come on. Anyone? Anyone? I can't do that math in my head. <laughs> All right, Same. it took 27 points. You hit it, it moves back. Nice, 95, let me see, what is it at health? All right, it's damaged, but it's still up. Initiative. Take that, you robot bastard! Get up, man, we gotta go! I go hey. nowhere. This shit's personal now. <laughs> Man, you made you made you use a med kit, uh, an advanced med kit. All right. So what's what happens? Um. All right. There's more gunfire. Please hold. Unfortunately, it does not do that much, which means, Baldrick, you're up. Alright, uh, I'd like to I'd like to reload my gun and fire it again. Give me an attack roll. You reload. Um, where do what do you do with the expended clip or the magazine? I'd like to put it back in my mag pouch. Okay. You stuff your expended mag quickly in your mag pouch, pulling out a new one, reloading your weapon. You fire. Right. Give me an attack roll. Oh. Okay. Uh, attack roll is good. Give me your damage. Alright, let's go to D12, and let's give it hell. Hey! 17. Is it really 20 rounds this is doing? Jesus. Jesus. I believe it is. I lost my... 340 damage. Wow. Alright, uh, hold on, let me do some math. All right, you reload, quickly reload, as you see Kevin underneath stab himself with a stem. You aim and you fire, and you're pretty close to this, right? This uh, drone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty close. So you fire. Your rounds pretty much hit the target. Suddenly you see it, a little explosion come from underneath where its lead pads are. It shoots up into the sky and veers off course. Uh, it turns and it heads down, crashing into a nearby uh, slum or a building house. Somebody's abode, we'll say. And all of a sudden there's a bright burst of light and an explosion <laughs> as you take it out. I grab uh, Kevin up and I tell him, we gotta go! Finally gonna pull myself off the ground and, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here! Run, boy, run! The corporate drone is dispatched. You pick him up and you start running. As you see Rubix, he's kind of got his gun pointed down towards you guys. Uh, unnervingly pointed towards you guys. I scream, we got it, we killed it! Yeah, what about those? <laughs> and he points behind you. Oh no. As you see, another three of the same drones you just took out headed towards you. Ah, like, shit! Let's get the fuck out of here, come on! Yeah, uh, I'm following closely behind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same over here, I'm instant back there. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh no! Oh, Lord. All right. You guys follow him as he kind of veers off the main road. You, you figure that there's a couple of main ways in and out of the city. I do have a map for this somewhere, but I don't know where it is currently because I've got I need more, more windows 
Remember this? This has been like a two year. I need more screens. I can't do everything on one. Um, to show you guys or viewers, if you're watching, I can deal with my voice. Anyways, you guys are headed down different alleyways, uh, bobbing and weaving as you hear kind of this crackling sound behind you. He's like, and you hear Rubik's. It's not going to take long for him to find us. We need to yeah, get. It isn't. We need to get the Lyra quick. Come on, boys! We gotta get out of here. As you continue to follow him through the slums, you see people. As you enter one of the slums, you see some scared people standing nearby. Unsure. I tell them to get inside. I tell them to get inside. Things are not safe out here. And they quickly head inside their very thin building. Poor people. Uh, give me a speed check. Both of you. Oh no. This cool speedy Gonzalez over here, you know. Come on, the speedy Gonzalez brothers. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> It's still feeling woozy from all all that blood loss, you know. I I thought that that one was for me. Oh, that that's my one, I think. Yikes. Yeah, that's my one. <laughs> that's not good. All right, you continue to fall, ru follow Rubik's through the slums, bobbing and weaving as you hear the whirring of these corporate drones growing closer. Uh, obviously, they don't need to bob and weave; they can fly right over. Uh, above you, you see a crackling blue lev pad as it comes over you and points its guns down just as you exit into somewhat of a semi-opening where across on the other side of the opening, you see Lyra next to another lev vehicle. Uh, Rubix has pretty much made his way halfway uh, across the... Uh, the like opening we'll say which is probably I don't know it's only like 20 meters we'll say it's a small opening not much it looks like there were once uh, buildings there but there is no longer um, and suddenly the one light becomes three as the corporate drones come down after you guys you suddenly hear a shot as Lyra fires it's time for oh initiative and it's also time for a quick break let's go yippee do, 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 do. break time what is it with yeah. these fucking ones man <laughs> oh, that's great oh no let me let me roll let me see what i'll get oh right. yeah i mean that's not that bad i'm gonna have oh. to name kevin uno this is, this is also why we're doing one shots. But anyways, all right, we'll be back. Yeah. Uh, let's do a coffee refill, whatever we need. Uh, we'll be back in like a couple of minutes. Do, do, all right. Do, 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 do.
All right. And yeah, we're, we're back. What's that? And what? Sweet. I was just about to. Yeah, when I was in Kuwait, it was 125 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 51 degrees Celsius. Oh yeah, yeah, that that happens a lot here. So that's, well, that's, in the summer, of course. That's, that's, that's warm. That's real warm. At 50% I mean, humidity. Oh, God. I was going to say, is it a dry heat? But no. it, It's supposed to be, but we had a, a freak incident of humidity roll through for three days. I wanted to die. Wow. Here, the, here sometimes in the summer when it gets so hot, uh, the metal is hot enough that you could cook an animal in it. Sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. that's hot. So for anyone who's listening... Uh, I'm up here in Connecticut, which is fucking cold right now. Um, Patrick is down in Georgia. And Ryan, well, he's over, what, Egypt, right? Yeah, Egypt, forget it. Yeah, so it's very different climates. Um, I'm pretty much ready. I work outside because I do construction, and I fucking am kind of over it. So I need a nice warm place to either work or drink rum on a beach for the next four months because I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> you could come over here if you want. You know, I, I, I mean, that would be an experience, that's for sure. Hey. I'm all about traveling. I have passport, we'll travel. Because you know what? Life's too short. You might as well see as much of the world as you can. Facts. And especially now, because it's not going to be, well, really, really hot. <laughs> True. Since it's... And probably because there's a nuclear war coming up. Yeah, well, you know. Each one prepares in their own way for that, right? Yeah. Damn Putin. Anyways, <clears throat> all right. Gentlemen, yep. you have... Let's get back to the game, I guess. I mean, we could continue to talk for hours, but that's uh, not what people are here to watch, if they're watching. If they're yeah. really not, so I don't really care. Anyways, back to the game. Uh, you have three corporate drones closing in on the open area that you're traversing to get to the lev where Lyra has a rifle uh, you rolled initiative Kevin you are not going first uh, Baldrick you're going uh, not first but not last as there is a suddenly a large booming sound uh, louder actually than your flashbangs that you threw there Kevin uh, a shot goes from when, where Lyra is, and basically she's got an anti-material rifle. You see a shot go through the air, and blue ribbons streaking behind it. Uh, unfortunately, she misses, and the shot disappears off into the sky. Yikes. Yeah. Uh, Baldrick, it's your turn. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, where do, are the drones exactly? So, the drones... Here, let's do this game. This is a fun game. We're gonna do... Hold on, watch this. I love doing this. Impromptu map drone. If I can get it. Oh, come on. Why isn't it doing... Alright, we're just gonna do it here. Do, 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 do. Here is the field. Here is, this is a really professional map, the lev you're trying to get to. Here's Lyra with the anti-material rifle propped over it. Here are you, do 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 do, the two of you right there. Can you see that? Yeah. There is our boy Rubix. So Lyra, doop, ba doop, Rubix is right there. And the yeah. drones are coming this way. We'll make a Maxis. Do 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 one two. One's down here. Doop. There you go. All right. Remember, you are able to ping, I believe, if you double tap. How's it go? Anyway. Uh, I, I cannot sadly ping. Yeah. Well. Oh, there's if a you ping. hold, if you hold the left mouse button down, it'll ping. Uh, no, no, no. I'm on phone, sadly, but, but I believe I can, oh. yeah, I can put some red dots. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, yeah something. Doom. Red dot. All right, you're up. So there's a drone. 
Drone. Yeah. I'm going to, you know, um, use my use um, the ten rounds that are left in my MP5 to shoot at the two drones that are over there. All right, give me an attack roll. All right. I'll protect you, uh, Kevin. I swear. I'm gonna be the LeBron James that you always dreamed of. There we go. There we go. Okay, give me damage. All right. Holy shit. Let's go. Your boy is angry. Okay, what's that? 20 rounds? You reloaded, right? Yeah, uh, no, no, those are the t those are the 10 rounds left in the mag. Damage. So let's go over how damage works, just because. So your fire, first of all, if you're doing automatic fire, half of that, because your strength goes into the ether, so it disappears. So you did 120 damage. You are then dividing it between two targets, because you're shooting at both of them, you said, right? Yes. So they each take 60 damage. However, their armor level, which is two, so you take that, you divide it by two. So each of them take 23 points of damage. Not bad. No, oh, that's not actually. And there for goes all my loss for this. Yeah, ten rounds. Yep. So we got that. A pretty good shot. It's about time. Indeed, and I need to reload, so Let's I'm gonna happens. reload and run. Actually, actually, give you guys weapons. Yeah, we, we have good stuff now. Twenty-three out of two. Oh wait, let's check this way. Hold on, give me one second. Yeah, something I forget to mention about Kevin. He pulled all of his gear off of dead people around the city. So, so it's like mix matched piece milled shit together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he, he's been looting bodies while he was homeless. Kevin, my goodness, you, you look stylish, I must say. Well, that I mean, smells pretty bad, too. When all your buddies get slaughtered by milkers, that's, uh, that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh no, not the milkers, please, no. If you had to choose between a milker and a queen, what would you rather fight? Neither. <laughs> Both of them are evil. All right, almost done with this. That's good. All right, there we go. All right, um, but up, but up, but up, who's up? I believe uh, they are. Since somebody rolled a one. Yeah. Uh oh. You guys are yeah. surrounded. Luckily, um, you guys are wearing armor. These two over here, I'm gonna ping them. This one, the two that are together over yeah. here come flying towards you guys. Uh, unfortunately, they they fly qu very quickly and they both miss. Uh, well, this one... Hold on, bring it. This one starts to fly towards Rubik's. Nice arrow right there. Which leaves... Watch out! Kevin, you're up. Yeah, uh... Kevin's saying, fuck this, and he, he's just straight beeline to the vehicle. He's not gonna engage, just you running straight to the vehicle. Alright, give me a speed check. Come on, Speedy Gonzalez. Yeah, well, the last time I said Speedy Gonzalez, I wrote a one, so. Oh, Mr. Uh, this time's a two, so. Okay, you're running. You are currently running towards the vehicle. Uh, initiative. All right, let's not get a one, shall we? Don't say that, don't say that. I'll take a ten. Fuck. Hey, what, what was it about not rolling ones? Uh, I, I would like to not say a thing. <laughs> All right, as you run, uh, Kevin, you are charging towards Rubik's, who looks at you. 
And uh, he turns his attention to this drone pretty quickly and fires at it as you run by him. As you approach, you see Lara, Laura, Laura, Lyra, sorry, Laura, Lyra, uh, aim her rifle your direction. Basically towards you, you think. She fires and a round narrowly misses your head, probably by, I don't know, what you think is centimeters, but it's actually a meter. Uh, once again, the, the rifle round goes up into the sky, trailing behind it blue ribbons of energy. Uh, unfortunately, she missed for you guys. I don't know why she's rolling so shitey, but she is. Uh, Kevin, uh, are you continuing to the vehicle? Is there a turret on the vehicle or anything? There is not. It looks to be a regular sedan. The turret in question would probably be the anti-material rifle that she is currently using, which is laid across the top of the vehicle. Yeah, I'm just going to yell at everybody else, just get the fuck out of here, and I'm going to try to get in go for the vehicle. All right, you will continue your turn to make it up to pretty much the vehicle's doors. While uh, shed unfolds around you, there is more gunfire behind you as Rubik's fires. The drone attacks him. The drone, one of the drones, also attacks Baldrick. He misses. I. Uh, unfortunately for you, one of the drones is following you, so it attacks you. It misses as well as you get to the vehicle. Uh, a fusion blade comes and digs its way right next to the vehicle as it, it kind of like the drone comes up and flies above the vehicle, stops real quick, and comes back towards you. Uh, which means it is, uh, right at Baldrick, your turn. Sure. All right. Um, well, I put my P90 back, pull out my uh, pistol, and I fire a couple of shots, uh, the drone that's trying to attack me. All right, you like to do a three-round burst or three-round fire? Yes, sir. Okay, give me yeah, a it's three D twelve. You pull your you, you drop your weapon to the side. Pull out your pistol oh. and fire. Come on, man. Come on, big boy. I believe in you. Three D twelve. Oh wow. All right. Not bad. So, for that one, or that 12 negates that one. So that other 12, give me a damage for. All right. Well, you'll be surprised. It's also a 3d12. That's it. So that's pure damage, Dang. depending on where you hit. Nah. Yeah. I'm pretty good, pretty good. So we've got 13 plus 23. All right, your one of your rounds uh, hits it. It causes it to slightly fluctuate in the air in front of you, but it regains its balance pretty quickly. It's slow. It's slow. All right, it's initiative. All right. Oof. <laughs> Kevin, you're up oh, first. Oh. You are at the vehicle. What are you doing? I'm going to turn around because, you know, nobody else except for Lyra is here and start engaging the drone directly in front of me so he's like you know right here all right give me an attack what are you shooting with my 12 gauge Ooh. You can give me the other two attacks if you're doing first what's the rounds per turn on that thing uh eight um uh, what's your speed nine yes yeah, so you got a for three rounds you can fire so give me two more Nope. Nope. All right, you f you yep. quickly turn around, engage, because uh, all you have is Lyra back here. Uh, as you try to protect yourself or her, you fire. 
uh, the bullets ricochet off its armor and do no damage. Okay. Uh, you hit it with your final round and are about to feel very bad because, you know, it didn't go down when you hear a BOOM from behind you. Ribbons fly and you see the ribbons hit this drone. The drone explodes in a burst and tumbles to the ground in pieces. Destroyed. Yeah, Kevin's gonna throw throw his shotgun like one hand into the air, pumping his fist, yelling like one of the sand people out of Star Wars. <laughs> hell yeah! God, I got a hell yeah! All right. Boldrick, you hear an explosion to your right as you're engaging the nearest drone to you. Uh, as you do, the drone comes down and tries to hit you. Uh, luckily, you're quick enough to avoid the attack, and it flies around. Suddenly, you hear Rubik's yelp as he gets hit. Oh, I, I, scre I scream, take care of the Rubik's, don't mind me. And uh, I'm gonna engage again the drone that's close to me with my pistol again. All right, it is your turn. All right, so I'm gonna do three D12, three round bursts. All right. It narrowly right. misses you, and as it does, you train on it and follow it, right? You fire. Dink, dink, dink. You see your rounds hit it and ricochet off into the air, causing no damage. Nice. Initiative. I hold three. Nice. I got the two. <laughs> I still go before you. All right. <laughs> God damn. As At least it's uh, <laughs> Kevin, as you're celebrating uh, Sand People style, another shot goes off behind you. You see it trail up towards one of the drones, and, and once again, the energy ribbons spiral. Uh, the shot, however, misses the drone and continues off into the air. Uh, Mortis gets knocked on the ground as this drone seems attached to him, and you hear more gunshots as he fires helplessly, uh, trying to knock this drone off of him. You hear him yelp again as the drone picks up one of its blades and digs into him. <coughs> oh! Kevin, it's you. Yeah, uh, I'm going to shoot the drone that's, you know, attached to him. All right, give me some uh, attack rolls, please. Uh, but first, I have to reload, so... Okay, reload, reload first and then then shoot. Come on. Out with that three, I don't. One of, no. One of your actions, remember you you're quick enough to do a three round burst, so you can fire two more times. That ten does hit. Bam. And that seven misses. I'll take that hey, ten. Damage for that ten, please. Come on, show him hell. Ooh. You fire, and the drone becomes unstable and bucks slightly, but it is still up. God damn things are pissing me off. Uh, you got a two, correct, Baldrick? Yep. Yeah. So, hold on, the drone tries to go for you. Uh, unfortunately, it misses. Or fortunately, I should say, for you. Uh, it's your turn. Uh, me? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to shoot a three-round burst again. Give me your attack rolls. Yes, sir. -y. Here you go. Give me a luck Shit. for that one. 
Oh no, I, I, I don't like this one bit. Wish me luck, boys. All right. Oh no. As you fire, the weapon jams. Shit. You lose your rounds in that magazine. Initiative. God damn it. Uh, the magazine is still in the gun, correct? The magazine is uh, gone. I mean, it's, oh, in the, it's in the gun, but you lose all your rounds. Okay, okay. Hey, you're trying to be that. Uh, what do you got, Baldrick? What'd you, what'd you roll? I'm about a 10. Kevin, what'd you roll? Did you roll initiative? I did not. Uh, you were going that is much. not initiative. Wow, jeez. Uh, I'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm going all of the turds. All, all of them. All of them, every single one of them. All right, according to what I rolled over here. By the way, in case you guys didn't notice, I'm not rolling in roll 20. I am rolling off screen, on table, uh, which would be cool to set up a, a camera, actually, for you guys to see what I roll. Because that way the viewers, well, viewers would know and you guys wouldn't. You know. Oh no, he's hiding. He's he's keeping secrets now. Well, all you know, I'm using heavy metal dice. All my rolls are pretty good, so you guys would have been dead already. No, I'm kidding. Um, but up, but up, but up. Oldrick, you're up. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna you know grab my MP5 and book it to the car. Okay. Start booking it to the vehicle. Uh, yeah, but before that, I grab my MP9 and I just go after it. Okay. Do you grab your weapons? Are you firing while you're running, or are you just running? No, no, I'm just grabbing the MP5 that I left on the ground. Okay. And running to the vehicle. Got you. All right. You pick it up and you start hightailing it across the opening. Uh, there is another shot as a round goes by your head this time. Uh, Baldur. Oh no. This blue round traces by you at supersonic speeds with leaving behind it these blue ribbons. You're here behind you this explosion and then the clinking as a, another drone goes down. Yippee! Kevin, what are you doing? Fucking, okay, uh, what, what's going on with Rubric? Uh, he still appears to be on the, he's still on the ground and there is a drone above him. I'm, I'm gonna run up to his position and try to render aid. Okay. Um, how are you rendering aid? Uh, I hit him with an advanced med kit. Okay, mind you, there is a drone right, right above him. <laughs> give me, give me oh, your, boy. give me your roll, give me your attack roll, because aiding is an attack, definitely. Hey, potato, potato. Okay. As you approach, the drone senses you approaching and turns towards you, slicing twice. One slice misses. The other slice, unfortunately for you. Oh, no. Give me one second. Oh, no, fuck it. Take it. <laughs> Take it like a man. Uh, hits you. Destroys the stem that you had in your hand and slices oh, through your armor for five points of health. One more stem down. I had three, so. You got one more. I got one left. With it distracted, <laughs> he fires. He's, uh, Rubix gets up off the ground and fires at it. Unfortunately, its heavy armor absorbs the impacts. Time for initiative. Well, I know what I know what I'm gonna do. Hey. Okay. Well, Boldrick, you're up first. All right. With both of my guns in my hand, I'm gonna run and head to the car. That's it. All right, you're headed Thanks. to the car. 
<laughs> hey dude, I ain't I look one, I ain't looking sharp. Number two, my gun is jammed and I ran out of ammo on the second one. Alright. So you <laughs> Kevin, as you as you you suddenly see Baldrick running towards you with both weapons in hand. However, he continues running towards the vehicle as he gets near you. Shoots Baldrick. Um <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> As you uh, have already distracted the drone, it goes to attack you. And it misses. Uh, you're able to dodge its two attacks. It's your turn. Yeah, fucking fire into it. Give me your attack. But it's a, that was not supposed to be a plus three. That was supposed to be three dice. <laughs> so that's just a straight five. Six All right. Eight. Your eight hits it, and you see it does no damage. Suddenly, Damn. another round goes by. You hear Rubik's yell, Lyra, hit something already, you fucking bitch! As he turns and he fires. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Oh, his rounds actually did some damage, so hold on. He fires. He hits the drone. You see it dip to the right. Its lev pads cut out, and it appears to be going down. However, just before it hits the ground, they restart, and it regains flight. Initiative, everyone. All right. I rolled 10 for every freaking initiative. I roll. I got a 6. All I right. got the number. Rubix starts to head towards the car. The vehicle. The Lev. I should say Lev vehicle, not a car. And he fires his rounds. His assault rifle. He causes more damage to it. However, it is still up. Let's say, Kevin, you're up. Yep, I'm gonna reload and fire again. Give me your tax. All right, give me a luck for that one. Okay. As you fire your first round, it misses. Your second round jams. You lose the remaining ammunition in your magazine and have to reload. Ah, shit! Piece of <laughs> shit! Well, that's not very good. Ryan, you're at the vehicle. What are you doing? Uh, I'm putting my MP5 in the vehicle, uh, reloading my pistol, and firing at it. Alright, give me your tax. Alright, so I'm gonna do a uh, three round burst for 3D12s. You can do it! Hey! <laughs> 10 hits. Give me damage to that, please. Alright. Come on, wish me luck, boy. Wish me luck. Alright. Of course I'm wishing you luck since this thing's right above my head. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be fine. I saw this on Jack. Oh, nice. Hi, my name is Ryan Fish. Welcome to Jackass. All right, you hit it. You see it kind of waver again. Uh, its lev pads cut out again, but it quickly turns back on as it heads towards you guys. There's another round fired, but Lyra misses again. Initiative. Damn it, Lyra! Lyra hit something! God damn it, give me that gun! My goodness, what game. Oh, nice. Um, I rolled like shit. All right, Ryan, you're up. Oh, right. Baldrick, uh, what are you doing? You... I'm gonna do a three burst shot again. Give me your attacks, please. So... Yes, sir. -y. All right, give me a luck. a luck roll for that one, please. God damn it, I hate. <laughs> I hate this goddamn one. Ruining my funny plans. Oh, hey! Right. Nothing happens. Uh, that 11 hits then. 
Let's go. The one and the five are negated. The eleven. Come on, hit. come on. Let's go. Max, max damage. Max damage. Come on. That pretty good. All right. Their drone comes towards you guys, and it goes. Actually, it goes back towards Rubik's. What the hell? It Poor regains Rubik's. itself, and it comes towards Rubik's. Rubik's. You see him. He fires a couple of rounds as it sends a blade through his chest, a glowing blade oh, through no. his chest. It pulls him up into the sky as he slides off, and you just see a trail of blood make its way through the air. Kevin, your turn. And he falls to the ground in a thud. Donk. Not today, motherfucker! You don't get to leave like this! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna run to Rubrics and I'm gonna hit him with that uh, last advance medkit I got. Alright, uh, give me a attack roll. Come on, this time, please. Are you oh fucking my... kidding me? You're joking. Give me a luck you roll. You are laughing at me right now. Say again? A luck roll, please, for that one. Oh, please get a please get a twelve. Come on, bounce back, bounce back. <laughs> yeah, with my my current luck, uh, I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> All right. Damn. As <laughs> you run towards him, um, he's a little bit away. I'd say he was dropped like you know around there. So you turn and run towards him. You trip and break the stem. <laughs> God damn it. Fucking discount stems! As it buries itself in the dirt. Or the sand. You hit it against, uh, underneath the sand, there was a piece of metal from one of the slums that were taking down some time ago. And the stem, you see the glowing fluid inside of it dissipate and disappear into the sand. God damn it. Lyra oh, fires tried. and misses again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Lyra! <laughs> Goodness. Learn how to shoot. Fuck you, Kevin, she says. <laughs> did, uh, have you, where did you learn shithole? That's not good. I believe that's initiative. <laughs> Alright. Again, another 10 on initiative. All right, well, uh, so. Boulder's going 14. last. Kevin, you're up first. What do you Does doing? anyone have a fucking stem? Make it? Anything? Hey, you hear Lyra. Take out the fucking drone! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fire at the drone. Okay, give me an attack roll. <laughs> oh, my God, is this shit hole? You, you would fucking hit it already! <laughs> Give me, oh my me? god. Give me two luck rolls, please. Oh my lord. And double ones, they have to be over 24, so good luck. They're not good. Well, that ain't gonna happen. No, 18. We'll say 18. Just, just give I me luck it, rolls. Yeah. Uh. Yikes. All right. You must have had a bad batch of ammunition, as the second you pull the trigger, uh, the weapon explodes. Your pistol is oh, destroyed. Shit. Give me a, let's see, endurance check. Ooh. Pick a number, one through five. Oh, shit. Three. All right, you lose your middle finger. Fuck! <laughs> the weapon explodes. It, it is uh, destroyed. Your magazine that was in there is gone. Your ammunition is gone. And your middle finger gets blown off. As you see it trail through the sky. <laughs> with a spray of blood. Fucking bullshit! <laughs> you, can't even, you can't do the little bird anymore. I use my other hand to flick Baldrick off. 
<laughs> Come on, man, pick up the pace. All right, there is another shot. As oh, Lyra please. fires, you see the drone turn and come straight for you, come Kevin. On. It's two fusion blades go up in the air and it's ready to lunge and slice through your armor into your torso. However, just before it hits you, you just see it get veered completely off course as a round goes up. The blue tendrils go through the air as it hits it and throws it off course. It lands somewhere over here and explodes. <laughs> leaving you to scream about your missing finger. Give me an endurance check again. Man, I thought that was going to be a one. All right. You are still up. Uh, your finger is not with you. It's down there on the sand. Uh, the drones are dispatched. Rubik's starts oh. to get up. Looks at you, says, Get your fucking finger, let's go! And starts to pull, drag himself towards the vehicle. As Lyra throws her weapon, her uh, anti material rifle in the trunk. And shut it. Alright. I help him. Alright, you help yeah, him. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh, she jumps in the passenger seat as you help him into the back seat. Uh, Kevin, what are you doing? I'm, I'm looking for my finger. <laughs> Uh, give me a reception check. You don't fail, I swear. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, you find oh, it. Oh, my God. Yeah, you find it. No problem. You literally, you watched it fly through the air and land. And that's all you were focused on. You lost all, like, cohere. you know, you, you did not see anything else. You were so focused on that. Uh, what's it called? Come on. What's, it, what's the name? Uh... Hyper focused. I don't know. You know, when you just focus on something and blinders. I don't know. You got blinders on, you just see your finger. Anyways, you grab it. Uh, tunnel where, vision. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tunnel vision. You have complete tunnel vision watching your finger fly through the air uh, with the blood splurting out of it as it hits the sand and lands. Probably where that mark is that you put there, Boldrick. Hey. And you go, you retrieve it. The drones are down and smoldering. Uh, as you look over to your right towards corporate center, you see the light of blue levitation pads coming your way. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna I pocket my finger, you know, I okay. and, and start making my way to the vehicle. Like, I guess it goes my fucking piano career. Okay. <laughs> I scream, Kevin, get in the car and drive. And I go right. to the <laughs> You get to the vehicle. Uh, Boldrick is in back, we'll say, with um, Rubik's. Lyra jumped in the front seat. Where are you going? In the back or the front? Uh, I'll go in the front next to her. Okay. You jump in the front next to her. She kind of looks at you with an, I'd say, a very awkward smile as she hits the accelerator. The Lev vehicle jolts to life as the Lev pads initiate, and you suddenly rise and take off over the slums heading out of Namora as fast as you can, pursued by corporate drones. Fuck! I that get to went the... fucking south. So, uh, there is a turret on top, right? There is no turret. Alright, I, I head to the turret, I take on my MP5, no, no, no. reload it. There is there is no turret on this. It's pretty much a, a Lev sedan. So it's a four-door oh. thing about it. It's a four-door sedan. When the thing that you thought is a turret was her anti-material rifle, which is down the trunk of some Aye. vehicle. Um, Rubix looks in bad shape. However, he pulls out a stim and injects himself. Shh. You guys all right? He I... says. I'm living my life. I I'm going to hold, hold my finger out. I've been better. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah, you can get that fixed. Shut the fuck up. He looks over at you, Baldrick. He's like, Baldrick. Yeah, what? Here. And he hands you his comm. And he gives you a number to Thanks. dial. He's like, dial that. Right. They won't pursue us right. if we get out of town. 
All right. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. All right. You dial said number. As you look back at the corporate drones that are pursuing you, there's probably about 15, right? You get to the edge of the slums uh, in front of you. Since you're up front, uh, Kevin, you see that, you know, suddenly the light dies out as you can just see desert in front of you. Just the wasteland sprawling. The lights are now behind you. If you look back, you all see the drones coming in very, very quickly. About 15 of them with their blue left pads crackling as they are in coming close pretty quick. Suddenly, there is bursts of light from underneath you somewhere and you see these streaks of light come up and trail through the sky each one one after another impacting the drones and one by one you see them get dispatched and f start to fall to the ground in flaming pieces I scream holy shit what the fuck we have anti-air over here Rubix looks at you <laughs> kind of knew this was going to fucking happen. But that's all right. And he holds up the package. We'll get a lot of money for Thanks. this. Although, he Would kind you? of looks at the wound on his chest. This is going to take a while to heal, so you might got, you guys might have to make the drop-off for me. Yeah, we, we, we might be able to handle that if Mira could learn to fucking shoot better. She kind of looks over at you with a dirty face. Why don't you go fuck yourself? You know what? You're definitely not Mortis. <laughs> Who is this Mortis guy I keep hearing about? Holy shit! Somebody you're never gonna be, asshole. She kinda I'm says. just fucking mushroom farmer, man. Come on, guys. Come on. Calm down. Let's just get this over with. As much pain as Rubik's is in, you see him start to reload his weapons. And start oh, to but, oh, wait, does anybody have a spare gun? Yeah, sure. I, I, I give him my pistol. Thanks, my uh, 12 gauge kind of detonated on me. Yeah, I can tell you're missing a finger. Uh, take two points of health there, um, Kevin. Just from pain and finger loss. <laughs> finger loss. Uh, 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 I'd say missing a finger is an injury. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, suddenly, Lyra hits you with a stem. You feel a sharp pain in your side. If she looks at you and like, nice one. And by the way, Thanks. you fucking smell. Yeah, it's probably the dead guys. Like, do you have any good, did you like have any good mushrooms? Do you have like black truffle or any truffles? What kind of a fucking I, I mushroom go, farmer were you? If you can add just regular food mushrooms, you know, edible. Hits you with another stem. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna like stick the finger on and see if it starts, you know, reattaching. Oh, uh, unfortunately, it does not. But Damn it. Oh, we'll have to. Yeah, you hear Rubix. He kind of comes up and grabs your shoulder. He's like, "We'll get that fixed up in Needless. Don't you worry. We'll be there not too too long." And suddenly, you see him kind of. Well, he passes out. I say, hey, 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 Rubik's is out. Anybody got a stem? <clears throat> Lyra kind of looks back at you. No, he'll be fine. He already had a couple. Just let him sleep. You sure? He looks pretty fucked up. How about you? Did you take any injuries? Uh, I got shocked, got shot. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. You got any stems? Nah, I'll walk it off. She throws you a advanced med kit. Oh. Yippee! I suck it. All right, you stab it into yourself. It injects into your system, and you are fully recovered. Um, Patrick, uh, your wound closes, Kevin. Uh, and if you were not at full, you are now because she injected you with a bunch of stems. The bleeding has stopped. Uh, however, your finger is currently not attached. You're going to have to deal with that later. Yeah, I just got it in, like, my, my breast pocket there, you know? It's... I asked Linda if she had one for him. Is she for, what? Uh, she has one uh, stem for Cubic. Uh, she knows that he, Rubik's already took a couple stems, so she's like, he'll be fine, don't worry about it. Just let him sleep it off. All right. 
Okay. Good night. All right. You guys continue on your way for about three hours when you finally see lights ahead. The city of Needless grows close as you come in and land. Lyra looks at you guys. Drop the package off. I'll stay with Rubix. All right. I grabbed the package from Rubix. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. And let's go. Right. Wait, uh, I ask Alina, where do we need to drop off the package? And she tells you, pretty much parked right in front of the building <clears throat> for you guys. And she points, she's like, right there. Uh, All right. And it appears to be some kind of club. All right, come on, Kevin. Look alive, stay alive. I'm going to go ahead and pull out a small bag of mushrooms and just drop them over in Lear's lap and turn around to leave to go drop off this package. <laughs> the Gee. mushroom man. Thanks, she says. Yep, play, play, play where that came from. I'm an expert. <laughs> All right, let's head in. All right, you guys approach. There's a bouncer who kind of looks at both of you. Got any I look credits? at it and I say, got a pitch. Got a. I don't, I don't announce that. You got it. Yeah, so I got a package too, he says, and he grabs between his legs. You got any credits? No, we have a package to deliver. Not that kind of package. He looks over at you, uh, Kevin. I got some mushrooms. You want some mushrooms? <laughs> he kind of chuckles. What kind of mushrooms are we talking about? The fun kind. What, what do I look like here? You guys have a package. Give me a charisma check, both of you. Oh, oh my truth. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna use. I would like to use my uh, speech. Yep. <laughs> I mean, hmm. Kevin does look like a hobo that just walked up and tried to offer this guy mushrooms. It makes sense. <laughs> Smells like one too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my speech. I'm gonna be like, "Good sir, I am a man of uh, great importance." There you go. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he looks over at you, Kevin. He's like, what is that smell? And then he looks over at Baldrick. Uh, and after a moment, he's like, all right, you got a package to deliver. Go ahead and. All right. I'll be out in a sec. I'm his bodyguard. And I'm going to go and try to go in with him. All right. He lets you both in. Let's go. You Come on. Enter the building. Um, and I'm going to say that Rubik's told you who to look for. You see him yeah. standing in the corner, kind of listening or watching. Uh, and he's kind of on the far back side. Like if you had a bar on the left, he's on the back right. And he's kind of like looking at the DJ slash dance floor. And there's a couple of people like gyrating on it. There's uh, lighting and black lights and stuff and electroluminescence everywhere. You see people in there with uh, luminescent tattoos. And there's a smoke that kind of fills the air and it kind of sp like listens almost like it's in a metallic or a sparkly kind of thing in it but you see the guy you're supposed to go talk to up in the corner i go to i go uh, towards him uh, and i say yo i got something and he looks at you he kind of like rocks back and forth on his feet okay what he says. I pull out the package and put it on the table. He looks at you at the package and he looks at you guys. Um, what do you want me to do with that? Well, isn't that the package that you wanted? I'm hoping you could trade credits for this. Oh, credits. Hmm. He kind of looks at you guys. He's like, I thought uh, Rubix was supposed to be dropping the shit off. Uh, he yeah. would if he could walk in here on his own free will. What about Lyra? Where is she? She's a fine piece of ass. Lyra is helping Rubix getting his chest back closed. Oh, that's sad. I'd rather look at her than your two ugly faces. That's for sure. Right, I can't blame you. 
He finally looks at the package, looks at you guys, kind of shrugs and like, all right. He takes his teddy bear backpack off his back, goes inside it, pulls something out, and hands it to you, Kevin. I'm going to take it and check to see how much is on it. Uh, It's currently blacked out, so you don't know. But he says, thanks, guys. By the way, my name is Baby J. Nice so to no, meet you, Baby J. Nobody asked. He's literally like an eight-year-old kid wearing a teddy bear backpack with spiky hair. Looks at you guys. Maybe we can do business again. You know, if Rubix doesn't kill you. Or the corporations. <laughs> or, you know, you get caught by some raiders and thrown in some kind of, like, Thunderdome. And he kind of chuckles. <laughs> He picks up Wait, the what? package. <laughs> he picks up the package <laughs> and he walks off. Have a good one. Glad doing yeah. business with you. I really hope there's actual credits on this thing. We didn't just get fucked. If we did get fucked, uh, Cubic is going to actually mess us up. And Lyra, too, with an anti material rifle, I'm assuming. If she can hit us, even. That's a point. All right, let, let's let's go back out there. Yeah. All right, let's get your finger reattached, I guess. Oh yeah, I should probably take care of that. <laughs> I just kind of hold it up and wiggle my remaining fingers in his direction. <laughs> bye bye. As you guys are walking out the door, you're stopped by two very large men in black suits and glowing I eyes. Look at that. They look at you too and say, Beringer wants to see you. Stranger. And that's see where me? we're going to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we're going to stop for this week. Hey. Oh. Pretty good, Pete. God. Who, who played with Baby J? Did either of you play with Baby J? Patrick. I think you both did. Both did, yeah. I think, I think you met him a couple times. There's a couple other characters who hasn't popped up yet, but they will. And you remember uh, who Behringer is, right, Patrick? I, your, I remember the name. Yeah, but from your exploits. Your first exploits through Needless to Omega. He's the one that was, uh, well, he was looking, <laughs> looking for Mortis. And stuff, you guys worked for him briefly? Yeah. So, uh, since you're back in Needless, I figured I'd bring up some of them. And uh, also, I don't know if you guys know how... Have you guys... You don't have Taco Bell in Egypt, huh? You don't, you're not even going to know what this is. You know what Black Truffle is, though, right? Brian? Yes, I do. I, I, I've tried it. It's pretty good. It's, it's, it's delicious. But you know how potent it is in them. It smells like... It, it's, it's got a pungent odor. I guess is the, it's kind of like up there with blue cheese or like, uh, what's that other cheese? I don't know. There's another cheese. Um, anyways, uh, I got Taco Bell. Bit. There's a, there's a hack you can do so you can get like their, their French fries, their, their fries with a truffle. Uh, they call it a truff. It's a, a black truffle hot sauce and it's Ooh. delicious. It's fucking delicious. And I bought a bunch of them because it's cheaper to go to Taco Bell, get their nacho fries with a side than it is to buy a whole, like, six-ounce bottle. Anyways, I left, like, six of them in my truck. Yeah, bad idea. Totally a bad idea. It was, Literally, the truck smelled like... Tr- like this pungent black truffle. It was, hor- it was horrible. I just... I don't oh, remember. Oh, that sucks. It was... That and now, sucks. Now it's out in the cooler in the back of my truck, which is fine. I don't smell it until I open the cooler and it just overpowers. It's delicious. But the odor is just fucking horrible. Uh, but that goes back to uh, Lyra asking about truffles and what's going to happen. So, anyways. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, She's going to. No, she wa- She asked about the truffles. But, you know, between your odor of your homeless uh, mushroom farmer. Oh, God. Yeah, he probably does smell like a giant foot. 
Yeah. And I, I forgot his name for a minute. I, I was trying. That's what I was trying to do: is find Behringer. I'm like, what the fuck is his name? Behringer wanted to see you. Oh yeah, he's fun. Oh, and uh, I gotta thank Olivia. So okay. Anyways, gentlemen, yeah, we're gonna leave it there. Uh, two guys come up to you, big guys, and say, "Hey, Behringer wants to see you." I think that's a perfect stop for the evening. Indeed it is. It's 7 o'clock. I appreciate both of you guys for playing. Uh, anyone who watches, I hope you enjoy it. And if you don't watch it, well, I, I, whatever. You're lost. Because we enjoy these games, I think, don't we? Or we wouldn't play them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With, with or without friends, you know, whatever. <clears throat> you want to say? Yeah. Um, I'll figure out exp and stuff if we continue this next week if we get a couple more players i do have a couple of campaigns i would like to play which would be uh great but um you know we'll keep on doing one or two shots or whatever the fuck this is at this point this could become a campaign <laughs> who knows anything's possible you guys, you guys are not naked this week and you didn't die so uh, yeah i only lost one finger guys and you have pants well at least you have pants <laughs> thank god there was, uh, yeah. So you lost, you, whatever. Cybernetics are a thing. You'll be fine, Mushroom Farmer. Yeah. I'm gonna tape a stick of wood to my little stub. <laughs> a peg finger. <laughs> nice. I like it. All right. Until uh, next week, uh, it's been fun. I hope you all enjoyed 2096, and we will see you again. Goodbye. Y'all take care. Until next time, goodbye.